So let's go and set, let's go and take a look at this one. If I have negative five minus nine i divided by nine plus eight i. Now, if I was going to follow the same process that I did before, my my thinking would be multiply by i over i, right? And again, if you guys remember last class period, I kind of showed this. But when you do that, you got to make sure you now, since we have a binomial, or I'm sorry, we have mon yes binomials, we have to make sure we use apply distributive property. So therefore, we'd have negative 5i minus 9i squared all over 9i plus 8i squared. Right? If, when you apply distributive property, does everybody see that? Now, here comes the problem. We know i squared gets rid of the i because it turns to negative 1. But then we still have an i over here. So no matter how many times we multiply by i, we have to apply distributive property. We're never actually going to get rid of it. So we can't, when you have a binomial as your denominator, you cannot just multiply by i like we did when it was a monomial. Right? When it's just 8i or i on the bottom, you multiply by i over i. But when you have a binomial, that means two different terms, two different monomials separated by addition or subtraction, you have to multiply by what we call the conjugations. The conjugate. And what you guys notice about the conjugate is it's the exact same as my other monomial, except now it has a, um, a opposite sign. Wait, so you did it wrong on the top then? No, no, it, it, it's just you take oh, it. You yeah, you got to make sure. Yeah, you just do the denominator. Then you got to make sure you multiply by the same on the top and bottom. Now, if you guys remember, remember our homework on multiplying bi binomials? So we have to do this twice. So create a box for both the top and the bottom. So let's do the numerator over here. So the numerator will be a negative 5 times negative 9i times. 9 minus 8i. Actually, let's do that in black. Probably makes more sense. OK, and then over here, let's do the denominator. So this is 9 plus 8i. Yeah, no, because remember, you have to multiply the numerator, and you have to multiply the denominator, right? So this one is the denominator. Because you have to multiply the denominator and the numerator. So let's go ahead and multiply it through. Negative 5 times 9 is negative 45. Negative 5 times negative 8 is positive 40i. Ne 9 times negative 9i is negative 81i. And negative 8i times negative 9i is going to be a positive 72i squared. Over here, 9 times 9 is 81. 9 times negative 8i is a negative 72i. 9 times positive 8i is a positive 72i. And 8 times negative 8i is a negative 64i squared. So if they both have i, is squared? Yes. And then remember, what is i squared again? Negative 1. So. What we can do is we can now replace this with a negative 1. Well, negative 1 times 72 just becomes negative 72. This is now a negative 64 times negative 1. It's now going to become a positive 64. Does everybody see how I did that kind of in step? Yeah. OK. So now let's combine like terms. Notice, notice now that these two terms both have an i. So we can combine them. And these two terms are just numbers. So we can combine them. All right, so we have negative 45 and then negative 45 minus 72. So what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and add um, 30 to be 102 and then it'd be 117. And remember, this is the numerator. So we have 117 and then negative 81i plus 40 is going to be minus 41i. I'm sorry? Well, check into your calculator, Nordic, negative 45 minus 72. Think of it this way. If you owe me $45 and then you borrow 72 more dollars, now you're going to owe me 117. Does that kind of make sense? 
So we have 117 minus 41. And then over here, I can combine these two terms. And then I can combine these two. Well, a negative 72i plus 72i, that goes to 0. And we're just left with 81 over um, 81 plus 64, which will be 145. Oh, this is a fun problem. And then we look to go and simplify this. And I don't believe I can simplify. Where'd you get the 145? 81 plus 64. It's 145. Because remember, this is for your denominator. These two cancel out, and these two add to 145. These two add to negative um, 41. These two add to one, negative 117. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, and then what we do is we just rewrite it in this format. Negative 117 over 145 minus 41i over 145. OK, that's it. I'm done. No more talking.